In example two, you are supposed to determine if each polygon was convex or concave. The way you do this is to extend the sides into lines. Hopefully you can do it better than I just did. The lines do not pass through the interior. We are convex. If the line does pass through the interior, we're concave. So as soon as a line passes through the interior, you know it's concave. This pentagon is, we checked all five sides, so we are convex. Our triangle, we'll check all three sides. This one is convex. And our lightning bolt, when we extend this side, we pass through the interior, so this is concave. Thus, we have three concave figures and three convex figures. Okay, so quick review. We know what a polygon is. Well, we know what a plane figure is, so a plane figure is something that we can draw on paper. A polygon is a closed plane figure, meaning that it doesn't have any kind of open gaps, and it will have at least three or more sides, and each side will be connected to two others at their endpoints. And we have two types of polygons, convex and concave. Convex, if we extend our sides, they do not pass through the interior. Concave do. Okay, this brings us now to naming polygons. Polygons can be named based on their number of sides. You are expected to know the, na the special names for polygons with 3 to 10 or 12 sides, and we're going to fill out this table right now. Okay, you probably know some of these already. If we have three sides, this is called a triangle. Notice, tri means three. And a three-sided polygon ends up having three angles. A four-sided figure is a quadrilateral. Quad refers to four. Lateral is going to refer to the sides. A five-sided figure is a pentagon. Pen or penta means five, and the fact that it ends in gon is telling us that this is a polygon. A six-sided figure is a hexagon. A seven-sided figure is a heptagon. Not septagon, it's heptagon with an H. An eight-sided figure is octagon. Think about octopus. There's a reason why an octopus has eight legs. A nine-sided figure is a nonagon. A ten-sided figure is a decagon as in, think of the word decade. Decade is 10 years. And a 12-sided figure is a dodecagon. Anything else, we simply, if it's an n-sided figure, we call it an n-gon. So for example, if we had a 13-sided figure, we would call this a 13-gon. Or a 26-sided figure, we call it 26-gon or a 106 sided figure, we'll call a 106 gone. That's, once we get past the special names, we just use the number of sides, the actual number, dash G-O-N. Example three, name each polygon based on its number of sides. Try this on your own first, and then resume the video when you're ready to check the solution.